Do you think sometimes we have to go through like extremely hard stuff in order to get to blessings? I think so. I think so. Cause I, like people always say, God gives the hardest battles or put people in the hardest battles. Cause he thinks like at the end of the day, you gonna, you know what I'm saying? You gonna pull through. He know I was able to, to get out of that dark hole or get out of that dark box. So, I think so. I think so. What do you think was the root of the depression? Nobody really didn't love me or care for me. You feel me? Or like, you know how you can be that person that if somebody come to you and they ask you for a hand, ask you to do these, to ask you to do that, you will jump up and do it. But if it was the other way around, who you got? So you feel like you gave away your self-love to love somebody else that yeah. wasn't giving it back in return. Yeah. So you was filling up pots, but nobody was filling up back uh -huh. to you. Mm. So basically, I just have an empty pot. An uh, empty pot. And they had a full, full pot. There's all flowing. And when you look at mine, there's nothing in them. Mm. So that basically puts you in like a depression, like, what do you do now? So like depression is like the constant replaying of the past trauma. Mm -hmm. It's just like replaying it over and over and over and over again without any resolution to the situation. And that's kind of how it is, it still is now. Mm -hmm. Cause like I tell you, like my depression is not as heavy as it used to be. Um, but sometimes I can just sit there by myself and I replay what happened when I was in depression, when I was having those suicidal thoughts, when I was in the hospital. So that kind of put me back into that black hole. Okay. And then I had to snap out of it because I was like, Allison, that's not you. You a totally different person now. You have to stay focused, you have to stay positive. So you won't go back into that black hole that you used to be. And I promised myself, the Alex Nicole Willis, <laughs> it's not going back because I do not like it at all. I like the cheerful person that I am. My joy is back. I feel like I'm more creative than I was now. And I love the person who I have become. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So, so, yeah. so who, who was Allison before, during, and after? Who, 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 who was she as a kid? When I was a kid, I was joyful. I was very playful, very creative. But as the time got on and I passed, Allison was just so emotional, so angry. Like, kind of just shut everybody out because I was depressed. And, like, they can tell in my face, like, I wasn't as happy. And that's not, that wasn't, um, but the person that I am today, oh, she is happy and very creative, a beautiful, beautiful soul in and out. You can tell the the glow that's on my face. Yeah, I'm sorry, crying. <laughs> I love the person who I am today. Going through depression that I was in. I don't know. I just did. That wasn't me. That wasn't me at all. And I didn't like that person. I didn't like that person. So I'm so thankful that I have a sister that I have. And I'm thankful that God was right beside me. Cause my sister knew what I was going through. I called her, plenty of time was like, I'm ready to be with my daddy. I'm so ready to be with my daddy. 
And if I look, she was like, I can't do this. I'm like, we finna take you to go get help. I felt like she saved my life and God saved my life. Because without them two, I wouldn't see another year. 2020, I wouldn't even be here. So I'm, I'm thankful. I'm thankful. And the whole time I was in the hospital, the only person I could think about was my nephew. My nephew already lost his daddy. He don't even lose his auntie. At all. That's my heart. Look at that man out here in motion and shit. <laughs> Lord. At least he got a purpose, you know. <laughs> I was prepared, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it'd be pointless to go through all the, everything that we go through, you know what I'm saying, if, if we don't know our opportunity to express it. Yeah. It'd be pointless, you know, because it's somebody out there right now going through the exact same thing that you was going through. True. And people really don't believe that depression is real. <laughs> I am more true <laughs> that it is. For real. And like, when people be writing on Facebook talking about how depression is real or how they're going through it, like sometimes I reach out to tell them my story and to let them know that it's okay. You're going to pull through it. And I'm so crazy. I am a different person though because I wouldn't do that. I'm such a shy person, don't want to talk to nobody, don't want to do all that, but I guess I reach out because I know how it feel because mm -hmm. I went through the same thing and I wouldn't want nobody to yeah. go through that because that's not, it's not a good feeling at all. It's feel, I feel like I'm like, I'm like, like I'm seeing you for the first time. It's like, yeah. I don't know, <laughs> like, <laughs> It's so beautiful to see. Um, it's so beautiful to see. Because mm -hmm. people, like, we be going through, like, people are suffering in silence a lot. Very people, much. They suffer in silence a lot. Um, and, you know, people can give you all the, all the tips, all the positive words, everything. But at the end of the day, when you're in that battle, it's just you, God, and whatever it is that you're dealing with, yep. you know. Some of the words help, you know, for the moment, but at the end of the day, you you know, most battles will fight, fall by yourself. Yep. You know. And that, that's what people don't understand, because people will be telling you, well, it's okay, you gon' you gon' get it, you gon' pull through it. <laughs> Listen here. Yeah. I'm taking that in, but I also have to pull myself out. Mm. You know, I say like my sister helped me, but I also helped myself. Right. You gave that love back to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. And then I always think, when I was in the hospital, I was like, I mean, what's the point of being here? Like, the same thing that I do here, I can do at home. But my, like I sat there and realized, like, you don't have no access to the outside world. At all. You can sit there and think. And like they'll have like group sessions to like, I guess for you to talk about how you feel and what's going on and stuff. And that also helps you. Hmm. Even though I know people don't, I mean, some people rely on meds to hmm. help them, but it kind of do. Cause like I, to this day, I still, um, I'm still on depression medicine. And that helps. But I'm also helping myself by being creative. Yeah, I, I definitely can tell because, you know, well, um, I know people that, you know, take depression or uppers is what we mm -hmm. call them. And uh, sometimes it's like superficial. It's like surface level, you know, help. But I, yeah. I, I can see you. I can, I can see, I can see you like your life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's completely different. Very different. My aura is different. And I say, I, I like this person who I am. Mm. Very happy. Always smiling, laughing. So, 
Yeah, and I feel like after I dealt with depression, the way I dealt with it, now you can tell in my art that it's a lot better. Mm. So I, I feel like that. Like, painting-wise, tattooing-wise, it's way better than how I was when I was dealing with uh, or going through what I was going through. Yeah. It's a lot better. So when you was a when you was a kid running around, what what did you envision? What did you want from yourself? What did you like? What was your dreams when you were younger? What? To be an artist. To be an artist. Yeah, I always said I was gonna go to art school. Mm. <laughs> Main thing, I was going to art school. I was gonna get that truck with the monster tires <laughs> on it, <laughs> and I still want that today. <laughs> And I was gonna go to art school. Matter of fact, I was gonna be an animator for Disney. That was what I had my mindset of. That I was gonna do. So yeah. It's like uh, it's like when we kids were like the purest version of ourselves. Like yeah. we are, we are us. Then over time, we start, we start. Give on away pieces of ourselves mm -hmm. to get something else. Yeah. And then we get all this all this bullshit, and yep. then we're like, damn, I want I want myself back. This this yep. this ain't all what I thought it would, you know what, yep. what it was gonna be. I know what I did. I grabbed all that and took it back. Took it back. Yes, cause I am myself. This is who else I need. <laughs> when you grabbed it back, was it was it more than when you lost it? I think so. Mm -hmm. I feel that way though. I feel that way. I have my pot full. It's overflowing. <laughs> <laughs> like for real, it is overflowing, and I like that feeling. So yeah. That's great. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. Congratulations on all the new things that's happening. Yes, thank you. Yeah. We just got. You just gotta go through some of them seasons sometimes. Yep. It's the the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's mm -hmm. just a part of life. Yep. I feel like you have to go through that just to get to. New stuff. Good. Right. And yeah. And everything we go through is, is usually for somebody else benefit. Yeah. It's to help somebody else to get through. Yeah. So we can't give up. So yeah. I thank you for not giving up. <laughs> Cause then who, who was I gonna shoot if you gave I up? I know that's real. <laughs> <laughs> and then come down there too, like, shit, we... <laughs> I know that's real. <laughs> that's, yeah. uh, that's great. I'm happy for you. Thank you. So what's next for you? I think the next step is for me to try to get into a shop, a tattoo shop. Like try to get my name more out there. It's out there a little bit, but I think I need to take bigger steps to put myself out there. So yeah, I think that's the next thing. And I'm gonna do more in mind because I think I pulled pulled away from that. Mm -hmm. So I wanna do putting my foot back in the door. So I try to do half and half instead of doing the whole tattoo and just like a little other mind. I'm gonna do half and half now. Okay. It's time for me to To see my name in life. <laughs> How old are you? Huh? How old are you? I'm 29. I'll okay. be 30 on the 12th. So young. Yeah. So young. Black though. <laughs> 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 so yeah. That you brought a pain today. Explain to us. Show us what you brought in. Um. You can pick it up. To be honest with you, now that we talk about it, I felt like. Basically, this is what I was going through, a heartbreak. Um, and then as the time got on, it started being uh, healed and started patching up. Cause I guess I, I got my joy back. So now it's just healing. And it takes, I feel like it takes a minute for your heart to heal though. Um, you just don't heal just like that. So as I was in the hospital and dealing with depression, that's how my heart was broken. That after the hospital, like I started spending time by myself and being creative 
basically figuring out who Allison is again and getting myself back to who I was. So this is like how it just, just healing, banished up. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. What? What? Why did you choose to use gold stitching? Because I love gold. <laughs> <laughs> I think gold brings basically shine more. Like how I'm always smiling. That's what it is. The happiness. You see the glow. So that's why I use gold. Mm. So yeah. Hmm. It's really cool. Yeah, it's dope. I love it. Ooh, and what's the name of this piece? Healing. Healing. And pick it up a little bit. That's good right though. It's interesting that um that you went from from left or from right to left. Usually in Western culture we, we write from from left to right, yeah. a lot of Eastern countries they they write from or they they narrate from from right to left. Yeah. Um, why did you Why did you choose to do it that way? Right, so I'm, I'm actually right-handed, so, okay. so <laughs> I guess the reason that's all the reason why I started from right. Okay, and you just okay. Yeah, but sometimes when I start painting, though, I really I don't really realize like. If it is right to look, I kind of just zone out and just go with it. Because I feel like with them in their creative mind, I ain't, ain't no telling me how it's going to go. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no telling me how it's going to go. I mean, that's beautiful right there. That is beautiful. This is my piece, I will say. Love it. Last question. So, anybody else that's going through any deep depression or any deep sorrow, what advice would you give them, or would you offer them any advice? What, um, what would you say? I just tell them to keep going. Don't give up. Um, continue to do what you love. To do. Um, because that will also help you put your mind at ease. Because you know, like I said, because that will also help you put your mind in a positive place. Be around positive people. That's one that will really help you. And it's okay to talk to somebody because sometimes when people go on real depression, they just kind of keep to themselves. They don't say nothing. They just, no, a closed mouth don't get fed. <laughs> That's what they always say. So it's okay to tell somebody what you're going through. It's okay to get help if you don't know how to help yourself. Just keep going. Have faith. Believe. You know? And God will, he will help you. Pull you out that dark hole. Pull you out that box that you felt so closed up in. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, thank you for, for sharing your story. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope, I know a lot of people are going to be fed from this. Um, yes. You know? This life is a journey. That's uh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's a journey. It's that it is. Peaks and valleys, mountains, yeah. mountaintops, and, and low points. You know. Yeah. But it's all. We can't. We can't appreciate the sunshine if it don't rain. Yes. And then some people. And then another thing. Some people was like, I never thought that you would go through that. Cause they used to say how I'm always smiling. You never know what's going on behind the smile. So that's why you always supposed to check on your friends. See what's going on in their mind, talk to them. Like speak positive in their life. Cause you never know. Never know. Cool. At all. All right. Well, thank you for this. I appreciate it. I'm glad this is the this is how we reunite. <laughs> Yes. After a long hiatus. <laughs> yes, yes, and I was so happy. <laughs> you know, we both was getting ourselves together. Yes. You know, so we could be better for the world. Yes.